Hello, do you suffer from cancer? Do you suffer from uh, cancer in any part of your body, whether it's uh, breast cancer or for a male, a prostate cancer or colon cancer or a stomach cancer? Uh, you've got to understand some things about cancer, and I'm here to share with you an experience, uh, uh, exam findings, very unique exam findings of one of the patients in my clinic. My name is Dr. Lonnie Herman, and I've got some extensive uh, uh, research behind me and some very unique skills in helping us determine what is actually causing the disease in an individual. And in this case that I'm going to share with you, there's a woman here, she's middle-aged, she was born in 1950, and she's got, uh, uh, there's been notice of, of abnormal tissue growth in the mammary uh, uh, gland area, and she's got some skin irritation findings. There's, uh, there's a number of different symptoms going on with her, including fatigue, chronic fatigue. Uh, she and her husband refused to go through regular uh, American medical uh, cancer type of treatments, including chemo, radiation, and or surgery. They just don't want to go that route. They've tried some other systems before they came to me, uh, some other types of uh, holistic types of care, uh, and uh, quite honestly, those did not work. And I've got a much more in-depth method of finding what's going on in the body. So I'm going to share with you these exam findings, and you tell me, you tell yourself, you look at yourself and you look at your family, and see if the doctors who are examining you for whether it is a cancer growth in your body, abnormal growths, including cyst formations, including other symptoms like chronic fatigue. If you're hearing these kinds of answers in exam findings from your physicians, and, and before I even, excuse me, just one more point before I even get into these exam findings that are, that are just uh, amazing and very unique and just so precise to find what's causing the diseased cell, you know, uh, most people believe in that it's all about genetics, that people have Alzheimer's because there's some Alzheimer's gene, or they believe it's breast cancer because of the BRCA gene. And they believe that everything is the genetic theory, that everything is a gene code and you're destined to have that outcome in your life. And that's just not true. There are researchers in the field of epigenetics, and epigenetics means what's above the gene. There are some brilliant cellular biologists uh, who have really discovered in the laboratory under the microscope that the gene is not what actually dictates the outcome of that cell, which means if there's a cancer gene, a breast cancer gene, in other words, uh, as one example, that doesn't mean somebody's gonna get breast cancer. Somebody could live with a breast cancer gene till 90 years old and never develop breast cancer. They might develop some other condition or they may just, you know, uh, of what people call dying of old age and there was never any breast cancer. So we've got to understand that there are other causes of cancer to develop when there is a cancer gene. And what these researchers discovered in the field of epigenetics is that the gene does not determine the outcome, but the environment within the cell, the environment around the cell is what will turn that cancer gene on. What is in the environment? We can have electrical stresses like cell phones and cell phone towers and Wi-Fi signals. We can have problems, and there's more to that list, we can have blood sugar imbalances in this, in this environment like a prediabetes or diabetes. You can actually have another kind of uh, condition like chronic infections, like parasites and viruses and fungus and mold and bacteria and, and other toxins like, uh, like uh, residues of medications and antibiotics and pesticides and DDT, insecticide poison, and, and the list goes on. Uh, uh, of, of different types of environmental stressors that will lead to genetic changes. Well, in this woman's body, when I got to examine her, it was very, very interesting. I'm going to tell you the first of one of many different findings in this exam that we did on November 30th of 2015. Today is December 3rd of 2015 that I'm reporting this to you. The primary, one of the primary, I should say, out of all these findings that I, that I discovered in this exam, one of the primary causes of what I believe is the cancer in her body is infection within and a horrible level of a serious level of bacteria infection inside her red blood cell. Yes, you can look up online. You want to take your time. Look up online. You have the World Wide Web at your fingertips and look up bacteria infection in red blood cell. Put those keywords into a search engine like Google. Parasite infection in a blood cell. Look at the microscopic examples. You can see it. It's there. there it's not hidden from you. Um, inside her red blood cell, 
with my kind of method of analysis using a very unique form of a bioresonance testing where I could study the red blood cell. I could study the hemoglobin, which is the oxygen part of the red blood cell. I could study just about every single tissue in your body and see what's causing the stress to that tissue. And we can find out exactly what it is, what kind of bacteria, what kind of parasite, what kind of virus, specifically what kind of fungus, what kind of mold, what kind of toxin, what kind of radiation, what kind of chemical kind of gotten in there. And the Brucella bacteria, which was named after a scientist uh, many decades ago, Brucella, a very harmful bacteria. It's also found in cases of MS. It's found in cases of Lou Gehrig's disease and some other conditions where it's called neurobrucellosis. This Brucella infection, where the Brucella affects the nervous system and causes breakdown like MS and Lou Gehrig's. Well, inside her red blood cell, it's taking up so much space in that red blood cell, but that red blood cell is diseased. Think of the red blood cell needing all of the oxygen within it because the red blood cell carries oxygen up to the breast tissue. What happens when that red blood cell is housed? It's, it's, it's infiltrated, it's been infected with this brucella bug and that red blood cell is going up to the breast tissue and it's supposed to be dumping off just oxygen, but when it opens up, into that breast tissue, it lets out some oxygen and it lets out the bacteria. And it keeps doing that. And it does that into the bone marrow, and it does that into the brain, and it does that into the jawbone, and it does that into the intestines, into the spleen and the liver. These are all possibilities. You can have infection of parasites and, and fungus and, 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 and bacteria that get into these, uh, the, and viruses that get into these blood cells and can disease the blood cell and wherever that diseased blood cell goes, it carries the disease with it. Well, we found a very large amount of brucella that we will eliminate with specific remedies that are exact copies that match that brucella that's going to follow the principles of like cures like. I'm not here to say curing cancer, I'm here to say get rid of using principles of like cures like where we can use that infection to actually decrease the infection within that blood cell and help bring more oxygen to the tissue because cancer hates oxygen, cancer thrives on a low oxygen environment and we're going to be able to get more oxygen to those tissues because we clean out that blood cell. I also found with her in her parathyroid gland Lyme infection called Borrelia burgdorferi. I found some mold in there. I found hepatitis C virus in there. I found more brucella bacteria. I found the strep A infection. I found an overwhelming load of iodine in there. I found methyl alcohol in there. I found mucor, which is a kind of, uh, of a fungus. I found pesticide chemicals inside her parathyroid. The parathyroid helps us balance some hormones, imbalance of hormones, causes an inflammatory or decrease in function of the immune system, decreased immune system, cancer. We've got inflammatory mechanisms, we've got stress to the nervous system and there's hormonal imbalances because hormonal imbalances can cause inflammatory or, or changes in the function of your nervous system and your immune system. They're all connected. The neuroendocrine immune axis, they're all connected. I also found with this woman that she has a low white blood cell count. Why infection in the bone marrow decreased function of the white blood cell production, decreased function of the thymus gland and the tonsils to be able to make and, 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 and reap, and I should say mature the white blood cells because white blood cells are born in the bone marrow and then they go to the thymus gland to mature, they go to the tonsils to mature and they also damage white blood cells and damage red blood cells have to go into the spleen to be cleaned out of the body. Well, it was just incredible. I want to share with you this one main point with her, because there are a few other findings that uh, may not make sense in this uh, discussion to you, but you deserve to understand that that infection inside that red blood cell, and it can be in yours, whether you have a chronic fatigue problem and or you have a cancer diagnosis. Um, you know, I follow the understanding, I follow the belief of don't treat the cancer. And only the oncologist, the medical oncologist is licensed to do that. Don't treat the cancer though because we want to be able to find what caused your cancer, what caused it. It's not the gene, it's what caused the cancer gene to be expressed. What caused it to turn on? Can we flip the switch and turn off that gene? Take away the stressors that made it turn on in the first place and you can actually see your cells repair themselves and you have a greater chance of you healing your own tissue and you reversing your own cancer.
That's all I wanted to share in this video right now. I will see her again in about 40 days uh, from the first, uh, f uh, after she follows this protocol, uh, from the first uh, day that she starts this protoc protocol, excuse me. Um, and I will follow up with you and share what her results are. Um, share this page, share this video with just one person who you know, just one person who this might help make a difference in. They deserve to know that there are other ways to help themselves uh, besides what they think is right with a proper kind of mushroom or a rife machine or some other method. Okay, and also, if you would subscribe on this YouTube channel, I put up videos all the time. You'll see the, the, uh, the uh, excuse me, the, the YouTube uh, channel address right here on the bottom of the screen. And also, if you would subscribe or like on my Facebook page because I put up information there all the time as well. And if anybody out there is looking for any other answer, anyone, call our office line at 954-370-3100 and you have a chance to help yourself reverse your chronic condition.